I was always curious. I wanted to ask you about when you first got your red, like that costs more than a car. Like, how did you, how did you acquire your first red camera? I took a massive hit and I financed the fuck out of it. And Damn, I got yeah. bent, bent over backwards on <laughs> uh, the interest rate. But I knew, I was like, this thing's going to fucking bone me. But dude, literally I posted a photo of the camera on Instagram, like just hyped that I got it. And like, I got a DM from uh, a homie named Caleb, who was an old BMX dude. He's like, yo, like you want to come shoot desert racing? Like we need another red shooter. Like I know oh. you just got it, but I know like you shoot BMX, like you'll be fine. And I'm like, fuck yeah. And like, and I got like a real day rate and I'm like, holy fuck, this is, but I knew at that time that, like I said, this was like 2015. Like, I don't know. It, it seems like it's not the same nowadays because now every camera is good. But like back then it was like, you have a red, like you're hired, you know, yeah. like if you know what you're doing and not many people had them, a lot of people had access to them for renting them from production companies and stuff but like if you owned your own red you're getting the sickest day rate and like yeah. yeah so i just knew like all right i love filming bmx but i'm never gonna be able to buy a house or like really like elevate my life or make a real career out of like you can make a career in bmx but like i want like a real career and i knew that just filming bmx with a zoom camera was never gonna do that for me right yeah. I just fucking sent it and I almost like bought myself a nice car. Like I wanted a fucking STI and I'm like, dude, like you're going to buy this car, probably going to blow up like all my other friends, STIs, and it's not going to do anything for me or it's not going to make you money. Yeah. I can fucking send it on this camera and it's going to make me money. And eventually I'll be able to hopefully fucking buy a home. And I'm how so much was the camera when you financed it? 20, uh, 20. How much was the red when you got it? 25, 30, 40, like 50, a whole kit. I think it was like 35. That's so crazy, dude. $35,000 for a camera. And I started with nothing, you know, like I didn't have any lenses or anything. It was like, I needed the brat, the beam, <clears throat> beam out batteries, the lenses, the fucking, the cards were like 2,500. Like it was like, That's dude, so back, crazy. Yeah. And back then it was so annoying too. Cause when I bought that camera, there was like two reds. And I was like, cool, like Red's not like Canon. They're not dropping a new camera every week. Like I can buy this camera and it'll be relevant for like five <laughs> years until I pay it off and then I can buy another one. And dude, I bought that camera and one year later they started fucking dropping cameras every year. Yep. And I was like, you motherfucker, you did exactly what I, I went to you for because you didn't do it. So my camera <laughs> became irrelevant very quickly. And luckily I, I was able to like pay it off quickly and, and I upgraded and got another one. But dude, when I upgraded and got my other one, they gave me like, they gave me like, what was it? Five grand for the body that I paid 20 for. <laughs> and I'm just like, this is fucked. Like yeah, I got more funny. money trading it back to them than I would have if I sold it. That's so, so like, fucked. Yeah, it's yeah, amazing it how it goes. What is the equivalent in today's world? What's the camera that you think like, oh shit, I need that one. What's the what's the hottest shit right now, do you think? I have it, I think. There's nicer cameras and newer cameras, but to me, the Red Gemini is the best action sports camera. It's got low enough frame rates for me and the low light is insane. Like for nice. shooting mountain biking at like, 120 frames a second in dark woods with no light coming yeah. through the fucking Gemini crushes. You don't even have to go too gnarly on that, on that low aperture to like get that light because it's so good. Wow. No noise, cool. Like no, no neat video. Like everything I ever shot on my Scarlet dragon, which was my first camera. I shot a lot of night footage in my BMX career and everything I shot on my red was fucked. Like so noisy. My led lights weren't strong enough for how shit that camera was and yeah a lot of my night footage most of my night footage with my red my old red was really bad yeah and once i got the gemini i'm like dude like <laughs> if I go back and reshoot all that shit yeah he's so hyped but yeah to me there's like the new raptor and there's the komodo and there's all these other cameras but i have so many friends that have the nicer ones and they're still using leaning on my gemini for red gemini i'm gonna look into the red gemini and to explain to people who don't know that 
when you say noisy, that just means like when you when it's too dark and you're bumping the ISO in your camera, like it creates this artificial grain. Like the footage looks grainy. That's what the noisy noisy shit means. Some That's people dope. like that stuff. I remember. I think it was Ennis was like, "Dude, I love that shit," and I'm just like, <laughs> "He <laughs> like, would say that." Dude. I'm trying to get away from that stuff. Smoking a cig. Like, hey, I love that grainy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Reach the end of the video. Hopefully, you enjoyed that clip. If you want to support me and the podcast, just subscribe and share the show with your friends the full episode is in the description so if you haven't go check that out it's also available on spotify and apple podcasts and wherever you listen to podcasts and uh the goal is just to grow so if you could share the show with your bmx homies that'd be dope anybody that you know that is a bmx nerd and would enjoy this podcast do me that favor and we'll keep all these clips coming and, and one episode every week so i'll see you in the next one thank you